Yo, 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 what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today's video, as you guys already read in titles about this guy, he's very passionate about God and teaching you about him. But what I did notice about this guy is that his eyes are extremely red. Either there's two re two reasons of why I think of this. Either he spends all day all night crying and so his eyes are bloodshot from crying all day or he is on what people call now on the devil's lettuce. I think he's like on the devil's lettuce and he's very spiritual when he's on it, I'm guessing, because all of his videos that he talks about God so heavily and so passionately, his eyes are bloodshot red, even in the middle of the day. I don't know, maybe he does spend all day, all night crying because nobody wants to listen to his rants about God. <laughs> Poor guy. Anyways, guys, we're going to watch some of these videos where this guy basically says, if you don't tell everybody you know about God, you basically hate them. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you tell everybody you know about God or you hate them. As you can see in this first video, uh, let's go ahead and just take a look. If you don't tell people about Jesus, either you don't believe in him or you hate everyone around you. See, to believe- That's a pretty bold statement if I say so myself. Believe in hell and not warn somebody about it makes me question if you know about it. If you know the person who talks hmm. about it. How much do you have to hate the people around you to say nothing about hell? You have the key to heaven, you have the path, you have the map. And you're willing to stay quiet. So either you don't believe in Jesus, or you just hate everyone else around you. <laughs> I love how he's just so intensely staring into the phone like they're like make sure you tell everyone about God Obviously, he's either bloodshot. He's either been crying all day or he's probably you know on cloud nine. Maybe this is like an extreme Christian belief That you have to tell everyone about God because I do know a lot of strong Catholics as well that like go around telling everybody around God I used to go like to shops and I would you know people would just be outside just handing out pamphlets about the Word of God or people you know Jehovah's Witnesses will come to your door and stuff like that so I've, I've been around those people but this one seems a little bit too extreme where he's saying if you don't tell everyone basically if you don't tell everybody you know about God you hate them even if it's like your dog or something I don't know, maybe not your dog, but who knows? He probably does mean your dog as well. Check out this next video. You want proof of God? Yes. Okay. Look around you. Look at the ocean. Look at the fish in the ocean. Look at the trees. Look at the birds in the trees. Look at the stars. Look at a baby being born. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! I don't think anybody should be looking at a baby being born, unless it's your baby. Look at a sunset. Look in the mirror. We can't put God in a test tube, but we can look around us. You know deep down inside this is not an accident. There's no way. The proof of God is all around you. You just don't really want to believe that he's real. Because if he is... <laughs> Smoke weed every day. God's real. That means it's not looking too good for you. <laughs> but God loves you so much. He gave you a way out, a way out from his wrath. So he sent his only son, Jesus, to die for you. Jesus replaced you so you could be with God. This guy is high as hell. There's no way. You can't tell me that he's not high. Look at this guy. Look at him. Look at him. Smoke weed. Crazy guy. Also, you guys should never look up babies being born. Trust me. I get it. Everybody's got to believe in something, you know, to keep them sane. But obviously, this guy's not very sane. He's, he's definitely high on something. But I don't think uh, the point that he's trying to put across is coming out right because of the way he's projecting his thoughts and his beliefs. I think there's other ways to talk about God and, you know, spread the word and educate others. But this is definitely not the way. And if you guys know, if you guys have seen this type of videos, everybody on TikTok is like clowning on him. So this is definitely not the way to spread the word of Jesus or God. There's better ways or other ways. Come on, man. He's just high, poor guy. Let's check out this last video that I have for you guys. I have a phone here that's been pierced straight, straight through. Check out my last video. B -b but get this, there's another man who was pierced for you. A, a, a man named Jesus Christ. See, you have sinned. You have fallen short from the glory of God. 
Get it, get it this way. Imagine if I key my neighbor's car, right? I, I run a track right, right through the paint. It's not that big of a deal. Now I go to a junkyard. Same thing. Maybe someone will catch yes, me. Yes, it is a big of a deal. What if I go to a Chevy dealership? Now I'm in federal trouble. Now if I go to a Ferrari dealership, I'm in even more trouble. Do you see where I'm going? You're in federal you trouble even if you do it to your neighbor. Holy what are you God, talking you about? You have fallen short of Jesus. You're not a good person. You're in trouble if you God key anybody's car. But God was pierced for you so you wouldn't be. And now you get to spend eternity with him in heaven. <laughs> Crazy. How did this guy tie keying cars and going to prison to God? I don't know. His analogies are definitely off the charts. That's, I've never heard that before. Anyways, this guy, I mean, he hasn't posted in a while. He's getting a lot of shit on TikTok about his post. Obviously, this guy doesn't, maybe he doesn't understand. Maybe he's not listening back to his videos or what he's saying. But this guy cannot be 100% serious about what he's saying. And even if he is, he's definitely not putting the point that he wants across. The way that he's projecting his thoughts is very satirical and it, it doesn't even seem real. It doesn't seem like somebody would actually think like this, but uh, he did say that he is raised in a very religious community. So this is probably what he gets fed every day. So he believes this is the only way. I don't know. I'm not into those communities. I've never been in a community like this, but if you guys are, if you guys do live in a community where it's very heavily religious, let me know if this is something that is common. If not, let me know as well. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys don't like this video, you hate God and everybody around you. Just kidding. Obviously, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, leave a like if you guys like this video right now. If you guys uh, also subscribe if you haven't already done so. I do post videos every single day. Well, shorts every single day, which is technically a video. So I do post every single day. Uh, thanks again for watching. It's been awesome. And I'll see you guys again in another fresh, brand new video. Mwah. Thanks for watching.